Hello friends, and welcome to Turtle Power Presents The Power Playthroughs Project with Turtle Power. I am your host, Turtle Power. This is the podcast where we play games in a powerful way. And today we're going to be checking out a little bit of a game that was provided me by the, uh, by, by the publisher. I do appreciate them sending a copy of this. This is Beasts of Maravilla Island. This is a game I've been looking forward to for a while. It's a photography game with cool creatures and bright day glow colors. I really like the aesthetics of it. Um, this isn't quite a first impressions episode because my wife actually played a little bit of this the other day while I was watching her. We ran into a few issues. The frame rate's a little buggy, which I know the developers already said they're working on a patch for. And there were a few things that seemed a little bit wonky about the controls, but my wife also isn't, like, she doesn't play a lot of games, so I'm not sure how much that I'm going to struggle with when we actually get into it here. But, um, but yeah, we're going to find out together. I'm excited to check this one out. So again, this is Beast of Maravilla, Maravilla Island. Um, and let's go ahead and get into it here. Um, so we're on the title screen already. You can probably already hear the awesome music in the background, which I might actually have. Let me let me let me bring this down a little bit, and then bring this up a little bit. Let's let's get that music really bumping in your ears. Yeah, I think I think closer to about a there. I think that's probably closer to where we're going for on that. Yeah 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 yeah. Let's bring this volume back down. Just balancing things out here. I'm using a new setup, um, kind of reconfiguring everything. So we're, we're trying a, a new setup here, which means there's 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 tweaking to be done. But for now, um, let's go ahead and get into Beast of Marvia Island. And the options we have are our volume levels, of course, our controls, which includes camera sensitivity and gyro, which is uh, enabled by default. Um, and then language, we've got set to English, of course. So we will start into things on the Maravian shore. I'm actually going to delete the save and start over so y'all can hear the, um, the the intro here, which is uh, starts off with a black screen and white words that say, the world is full of magic, patiently waiting for our senses to become sharper. That's a quote from W.B. Yeats. We see when I was a girl. Young, my grandpa used to fill my head with crazy stories about a magical island. She's looking As I at a book. Grew older, I knew better than to believe in old fairy tales. She pulls a picture so out of the book. Why am I doing this? Going to a fictional place I only remember in my dreams. She's on a boat, by the way, my I said that. Dearest Marina, do not mourn me when I am gone. I have lived a life in service of the beautiful creatures of this earth. A lifelong passion I hope I passed on to you. The picture is actually a, a drawing. Island is a myth, and every day it is losing itself. Yet nobody can act. How can we say what we do not know? Notice the stories living around. Everything is interesting. Look All right. Closer. Oh, still not done talking. Okay, so girls on so, a boat. Oh, I leave you still my done. camera and my journal. Photograph Maravilla's majesty and bring back something beautiful to share with the world. Okay. So her grandpa believed in this mythical place. The picture she took out of the book was a drawing of her and her grandpa and some sort of crazy creature. And then she was looking at some seagulls flying by. One of them looked suspiciously like a banana bird. And uh, then she was arriving at the island. And uh, her grandpa wants her to take pictures of the island to share it with the world. Because how can the world save what it does not know? Which is a cute sentiment. Now we're looking at a loading screen. There's a hopping bird. It's kind of fun because on the video version of this, the hopping bird is just behind my webcam. And so you just see the bird like popping up over the edge. I like that. That's cute. All right, we should be, there we go. Finish with the loading here. She's waving as the boat reverses, which is an impressive thing for a boat of that size to do. And she says, okay, I'm on my own from here until tomorrow morning anyway. Gosh, I hope this is the right island. Otherwise this is gonna be one short adventure. And the camera pans around and we see that she's on a beach with like a jungle right behind her and there's some sort of crazy glowing white uh, moose thing that then disappears into a shower of, um, not sparks, but you know, like glowing dust fragments floating in the air. And she says, what was that? Whatever it was, it looks like it's gone now. And then she says, am I going crazy? 
Uh, and we can now move around. So we're on the beach. And okay, moving her does feel a little floaty, which was one of the things that, that Becky said when she tried this out. Press ZL to take a picture of the red beetle. So, yeah, okay. Here is my first uh, major complaint about this game, is that the camera, oh, it says, great job, that beetle is a creature of the island. Animals are placed in your photo book based on which environment you found them in. Uh, okay, use L and R to flip the pages. You can find the different environments of the island and the photos you've taken by turning the pages. Press B to put your photo book away. You can always look at it by pressing the minus button. So um, right now the page I'm on is called Crystalline Bugs and the Round Ruby Beetles picture is put in there. Um, so here's, uh, I bet there, no, she says, I bet there are critters all over the island. I wonder how many I can find a photograph. Okay, so I'm gonna try and figure out the issue. The issue is that when you press the ZL button to snap into your camera in order to take a picture, it is hard to predict what direction the camera is gonna be pointed. So what I mean by that is that like, right now the camera's painted, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point her out at the water and then I'm gonna turn my view directly to her left. And when I press ZL, the camera's looking directly. Why, why is it going from pointed to the left to behind her? I don't know. So let's turn everything 90 degrees and press ZL. It goes directly behind her again. Okay. It appears that the camera always snaps to directly to the left of where I have the third person camera oriented when I press the button. So we're gonna test this here. There's that beetle on that tree. I'm gonna go, all right, I wanna take a picture of that beetle. I'm gonna turn my camera to the right and almost right at the beetle. So that's how it works is for some reason, the camera snaps to directly to the left of where you have the camera pointed, which is, that's bad. Uh, that's not how that should work. Uh, she says, these are unlike any critters I've seen back in Los Angeles. I, I, read about this in Grandpa's I bet Grandpa journal. wrote about these in his journal. Um, so it says, new objectives added. Press X. So my objectives right now, uh, it's showing me a page with the crystal and bugs with drawings that my grandpa did and stuff and notes. And she says, I remember I used to love flipping through this journal as a kid. It's been a long time, though. I barely remember what's in it. I should jot these animals down so I remember what to look for. And my objectives are all... My objectives went away. Come back here, objectives. Uh, objective photos. How do I... Oh, A for objectives. All gem bugs, all butterflies, all birds, and all plants. And then there's just pages and pages of drawings and notes that he's done on different things, uh, including that letter that she wrote at the beginning. Cute. Um, so let's look at the crystalline bugs. The bugs of Maravilla Island consist of many durable species. Gem-like structure on abdomen. It appears the crystalline structure on their bodies are not present from pupation. Rather, the creatures build them throughout their adult life, minus the giant snails. Interesting. Uh, Grandpa always said that the island and its inhabitants were magical. I see that now. The more photos of animals I collect, the more people understand and care about this island, like he did. All right, so there's some butterflies on this tree. I'm going to uh, zoom in with right on the D-pad and take a picture of a butterfly. A prism-winged butterfly has been captured. Cool. Oh, there's one flying away. Now it doesn't give you a score immediately. Oh, boom. I got a picture of it in flight, but it wasn't that great. It doesn't give me like scores on these. So I don't know if I'm gonna get like Pokemon Snap style scores on the photos I take. I'm not sure about that. Um, Becky and I didn't get far enough to figure that out when we tried. Ooh. But there's a mushroom and it says new when I look at the mushroom. So I think, I believe your, your task with taking pictures of plants as well as animals, yeah. Maravian Lobster Claw was the name of that plant I just picked up. So we're just venturing a little further into the jungle um, and uh, just taking taking pictures of things as we go. So everything we can. Birds and plants. That's a new thing. The nice thing is it tells you when you're pointed at something if it's new. And so you can just be like, new, snap, new, snap. Um, and then there's there's these uh, this glowing uh, plant. And when uh, she looks at it, Marina says, I think I remember Grandpa mentioning that the plants on this island are photosensitive. Maybe the flash that my camera makes will be enough to make that glowing flower bloom. And I'll tell you, friends, you know what? Because Becky and I got this far before, I know that it will. Are you ready? Watch this. Snap a picture. The sparkling lamp lily. And it just, it lights up and makes another plant grow towering way into the sky. And she says, now that's photosensitive. All it needed was a little flash to shoot a beam of light. <laughs> And the stock it grew is something out of a fairy tale. Well, if it's anything like a fairy tale, I might be able to climb it. 
So we'll now go uh, climb up this thing like like a uh, good old Jack and his bing stock. Um, I'm using this to get up to a higher ledge here. Press B to let go. Oh, I climbed back onto it. Didn't mean to do that. What's that? Oh. Very intense shimmering sound happened. Um, and she sees some monkeys, and she says, "Oh, on top of that branch, they seem so familiar." Yes, their tail twining is a giveaway. It's uh, a Maravian queso bird monkey. I should look at the journal. So we'll uh, open up our journal here. That's not the journal. That's that's my photo journal. Uh, how do I open up the journal again? Journal X button. Um, remember, Grandpa wrote this information down. To, oh. This is just the game telling me. Remember, Grandpa wrote this information down to help you. If you're ever stuck, check the journal. Um, and we'll find the pages where he talks about these monkeys here. Where's the camera? Rainbow Crested Quetzal Monkey. The monkey of paradise choose to nest in the understory layer of Maravilla's forest, hiding from predators. These affectionate monkeys twine their tails together in times of stress, or just to let one another know that they care. It's as comforting to them as a hug. These monkeys sometimes twine tails all night and wake up with bedhead on their fur. Oh. Rainbow crested quitzel monkey. Grandpa was quite the scientist, but these colorful friends are just cute bird monkeys. Wait, bird monkey, much better. Aww. It says in the journal that these creatures twine their tails together. <gasps> I should get a photo. And so we'll go up and uh, get a photo of them with their tails together. And there's sparkles. Sparkles is the word I was looking for earlier. Um, there's sparkles all over the edge of the screen, and we're gonna take a picture of them. And it says, we caught the Binky's tail twining. She says, wow, that was a cute photo. Where should I put it? Let's open that photo book. And the Rainbow Crested Quetzal Monkey page um, is the primary creature for this environment. Uh, every primary creature has four documented behaviors. When you capture one, it is an objective photo. Objective photos will appear in their labeled spots under the environments in the photo book. So tail twining got filled in. If you take more photos of the same subject, select the displayed photo in the photo book to view those new photos. You can replace the displayed photos at any time by selecting from those extra photos. Try taking several photos of the tail twining blinkies and select your favorite. Binkies, sorry. Um, and we can go back now. So now if we go up and snap another picture of them, then we can go back into the photo book. And now we have two pictures of tail twining, and we can choose between them. We're going to pick that one because I like that one better. Um, yeah. All right. So now, I don't remember where we went to. Oh, I remember. There's a big pink flower here uh, in a river. And we take a picture. It bursts open and becomes a bridge. Thank you, bridge. And then we'll just keep pressing on here. And she says, who's under that tree? Hi, buddy. Maybe it'll come say hi if I whistle. There's something in the trees. I can't tell what it is, but we'll press the whistle button. And he comes bouncing out, and it's a bird. Green green bird thing of some sort. Uh, let's take a picture of it so we can find out what it's called. It is called a... Maravian Mango Kakapow. Kakapow. Hi. You can't pet the birds. You can just take pictures of them. Um, ooh, there's some butterflies on a log up here. Now that I know the camera snaps to the left, I'm just like, every time I go into the camera, immediately panning to the right, and that that's working okay. Um, the Toucan Beak Butterfly, got it, all right. And we're going to press left stick to crouch and go under a log here, oops, under a log. And then we move on, and there's a bunch of flowers here, there's gotta be some new ones, right? Nope, that's not a new one, that's not a new one. Something's new up there, what is it saying is new? Ah, there we go. Uh, pale blue fin wing was on that. Oh, there's banana birds flying around. A banana peel toucan. 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 Uh, there's a new flower, the Maravian angel trumpet. So you can actually just walk around in uh, the camera mode. Um, like it's a first person game. And that works okay. Then you don't have to deal with the issue of uh, um, the camera snapping in some way you don't direct or expect. Uh, there goes one of the, the binkies, one of the bird monkeys, climbed up a tree and then glid away, glided away. Um, it was in a cutscene though, so we didn't get a picture of it, but I, I told Becky when she got to that part that I think what it's trying to do is that's the game's way of being like, hey, don't forget to look up, there's stuff above you. Um, like this glowing flower. 
I'll take a picture and it just bursts another uh, Jack and the Beanstalk stock out of the ground for us to climb up into the canopies of the trees. Well, not quite the canopies, but a lot higher. And now we're on a big old tree branch and we are nearing the uh, amount of this game that I've seen so far when Tiny was trying it out. Ooh, oh, there's a butterfly right in front of me. I took a picture of a butterfly clipping through... Oh! Oh, there's vines on this tree that let me climb up even higher. Didn't expect that. That's cool. Um, so, the the photos, like I said, I, I don't know if you get scored on them. Don't really, it's just, you're just kind of taking nice photos. So, the game part, instead of being like to get high scores on your photos, and again, this is what little I've seen so far, is the game part is almost more about just the exploration and like seeing the world than it is um, the uh, oh. getting a high score like uh, like it would be in a Pokemon Snap. Uh, she says, "Wow, are these Binky nests? But where are the Binkies? I wonder if I can coax them down with my whistle." So we're gonna whistle, and y'all, so many Binkies are about to fly in. This is as far as I've seen in this game so far. This was the last thing Becky did, at least that I can remember. Here they come. Oh, look at them all gliding in. So majestic. And now they're all hanging out in their nest. There's a ton of them. Oh my goodness. Let's get that picture. There we go. Yeah. All right, let's let's go to our our photo book. Uh There's not one for nesting? Wait. Set as main. Okay. Gliding, singing, courtship dance. What if I whistle again? Will they sing? Yes. I can't tell which of them are singing. Something's whistling back at me, but none of them seem to be. Hmm. Alright. There's just so many things to take pictures of. Okay. What else we got? Oh, I saw a new uh, Vasconian tree orchid. Let's just keep climbing up these trees, I guess. My character is a, a girl who's wearing um, brown adventuring shorts, uh, hiking boots with tall socks, uh, a blue shirt with a, a red uh, kind of tie thing at the collar and then uh, an oversized coat that I really like. And she's got a cute brown hat on and a backpack. Let's do another whistle and see if I get some more monkeys to come down. They're gliding. Why can't I get pictures while they're gliding in? It shows me a cutscene of them gliding in. I'm gonna get the pictures of them gliding. Now they're all in the nest, sorry. There's one gliding. Yeah, I got one. Was that a courtship dance I just got? Maybe. I don't know. With my control- oh, Binky's gliding. So that first one I got didn't count. Gliding behavior captured. Oh yeah, I got so many. Okay. Let's check our journal. No, let's check our photo book. Gliding, we got three pictures to choose from. That one I like. Okay, so that's me. Singing and courtship dance are the ones missing. But we also have we have objectives, right? Oh, I see the objectives. That that those are the objectives. So if I pull my objectives back up, my objective, uh, my objectives now include Binky's tail twining, Binky's gliding, Binky's singing, Binky's dancing, all gem bugs, all butterflies, all birds, and all plants. Um, so I'm gonna get my camera back out, and we're gonna wander around some more, and we're gonna watch for that thing that says new. We're gonna watch for Binkies doing the courtship dance. We're gonna watch for Binkies singing. Just looking around, seeing what we can find. So it said gyro aiming was turned on, but moving my controller around is not doing anything. No gyro aiming happening here. It's weird. Oh, there's a plant. Oh, nope, it's a leaf bug. A leaf bug. This game makes it hard for me to say words for some reason. 
That was a cool picture of Vinky gliding that I just didn't take. Um, oh, butterfly. What about you? Oh. My controller was just vibrating. And I don't know why. Better not have been a Binky singing over here that I miss. Because that would really annoy me. Um. Hmm. Let's see out here. Okay, when I'm looking at uh, one of the Binkies, then my controller vibrates. <laughs> I just got a great picture of gliding. My controller vibrates and there's sparkles on the screen and stuff. But I think that's just whenever I'm looking at a Binky, regardless of whether they're doing something that's one of my objectives or not. Boy, I am having um, some frame rate issues on my side, but I'm seeing a lot more frame rate issues on uh, on my computer when I look at it. So I'm not sure if uh, um, if uh, my computer's actually dropping those frames for the video version of this, or if my computer's just being silly. Whoa. Okay. Where, where am I supposed to go here? Hmm. There's nowhere to go over here. And go down this path. Ooh, I don't know if I've been down here. Wow, so many butterflies just took off. Something just said new. I swear. I swear I saw the word new. What did it say new? New. A vine tailed tangier. I'm not sure what I just took a picture of that was new. It mostly looked like a bush to me, but it said new, so I pushed the button. Oh, it says new again. Hey, I got all plants. Good job, me. I don't know if there's like a. Um, an end to the level that I'm moving towards, or if it's just I have to knock out all the objectives to end the level. I'm not not sure about that aspect of it. Um, if it's all the objectives, then somewhere I've got to find some singing monkeys, right? I think that would stand to reason. New. Topaz Rhino Beetle. Oh. It says there's a monkey up here. I don't see it, though. Wow, these binkies are socializing by singing to each other. If I could just mimic their voices, I might be able to bring one close to me. I better listen to this song closely. I don't want to offend them. All right. Oh, it says I only have two pictures left. Oh my gosh, there's a selfie mode. I'm totally going to take a selfie with this monkey. It's not coming out yet. It's hiding in the bush. So I have to hold my notes to match him, I think, is what the game is here. Was that close enough, monkey? It was! Hey, Binky singing. I got it. <laughs> cool. Alright, so then let's keep exploring. Somewhere there must be, uh... Binky is doing the courtship dance, too. Ooh, here's another tree I can climb. Uh-oh. Okay, the game froze for a second there, but we're back. It's fine. It's fine. It froze with me, stuck in a tree. Alright. 
jump down on the other side of this branch and let's just keep moving on. Is there anything I need to take a picture of here? Anything new? No? Oh! Moonstone Longhorn Beetles. Hello. There's a bunch of them living inside of this hollow bit of a tree. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, moving on here. Just looking around. Uh, so I like that when you're in the zoomed in mode, it tells you that if there's something new for you to see. But it feels uh, a bit... Uh, it's odd that that only happens when you're in the camera mode because... I, I don't really want to be in the camera mode when I'm walking around, but that's that's kind of necessary for me right now to make sure that I get all the uh, the pictures that I need to get, you know? Oh, I see a new. A leaf-winged parrot way down there. I just stood up on top of the tree and was just looking around below me for it to tag anything as new. But hey, it worked. Okay, we're gonna stick to the left path here. Let's see if we see anything exciting. I wish that maybe like it vibrated the controller when you were like close to something new. Oh, it, like it does when you're looking at one of the monkeys. I see you, monkey. Hi, monkeys. Uh, their tails are already entwined. They're not courtship dancing. Dang it. Oh, wait, why did I go out of my camera mode? That's right, I need to stay in camera mode. Look for new things to take pictures of. So, interesting. Um, there's only a certain number of pictures you can take per thing. So, like, my monkeys, it says seven. But when I look at this plant, it says nine. Uh... Huh. Ah, here we go! A monkey trying to attract a mate! This little guy's trying to attract a girl, but he's just not impressive enough. Maybe I can be his wingman and help him out? I think Grandpa said something about binky courtship and lights in the journal. Let's go check the journal! What do you say about binky courtship and lights? Um, oh, there's another page of binky material here. They glide among the higher branches and feed on fruits, leaves, and some insects. The classification of these animals becomes more complicated upon study. Are they Aryan? Primate? Primarians? These creatures like to sing in their spare time. They copy each other's tunes to create a symphony. It will be a miracle if I get any sleep during my expedition. The monkeys have a unique relationship between their courtship dance and light. Exposure causes their fur and feathers to... my experience, the dim sunlight that penetrates the canopy isn't enough to trigger a reaction, but a strong beam of light has stunning results. Incredible. And then there's a drawing... Of, of two hands being held. It looks like an adult's hand and a young person's hand. Maybe it's an adult and a, maybe, maybe it's a man and a woman's. But it says, The Light of My Life, Vasco e Mira, 10-22-65. Aww. Okay, um, let's find a... Should we just, do we just take a picture of him and that's enough? No. We gotta find one of those cool lights, or plants to light them up. Will that one do it? No. Huh. So one of the monkeys, when I look at them, it says one on my camera roll. What I'm assuming is the camera roll. Oh, they both say one. Okay. Where did my audio go? That was weird. I had no audio for a sec. Um. How am I gonna get light to shine on these monkeys? Oh, there we go. Sparkling lamp lily. Took a picture of it, nothing happened. Uh. Huh. Oh. The sparkling lamp lily is pointing its light at a. snail? A giant agate snail. Who reflects the light off of himself. And there's another giant agate snail over here. Will he come if I whistle? How do I get the agate snail to do something? Oh, do you want this apple? Pick up this apple, and then we're gonna take it over here and drop it so that the snail can eat the apple and he'll reflect the light. 
And it, then the light gets reflected back at the monkey. That's super cool. And she says, I did it. I better grab a photo of a happy couple. Okay, where... There we go. Uh, oh my gosh, their courtship dancing like a beast. Dancing behavior captured. All right, let's check our journal. We got to be getting close here. Um, that's not the, the journal. Here we go. Um, all butterflies. I have one butterfly I haven't found yet. Oh my goodness. This could take ages to find. Do you have any butterflies that are flying around in this place? A lot of them. Oh, the courtship dancing monkeys went to a cutscene, and one of them is coming running over to me, and he runs up ahead of me, and goes and climbs up a tree. What's he doing? And then he glides forward between two trees, which is the direction I was heading, and goes into the bushes. Oh, he cleared the way! He cleared the bushes out of the way for me! Thanks, monkey! That was nice of him. Cool. Alright. Now we can push on ahead. We need to get our camera out, though, in case we see the single butterfly that I don't have a picture of yet. Those are binkies up there. Okay. <gasps> New. There's the butterfly! Jungle objectives completed! Hey, we did it! And there's the big glowing deer moose thing, and it disappeared into sparkles again. It's right in front of us, and it just disappeared. Oh, and here's like some ruins. Uh, let's go up these steps and into this, into these ruins. Um, well, this is neat. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going from here. Oh, into another cutscene of her wandering around in these rooms. What was that sound? A big bird just flew by overhead. Was that a, like, tiger bird? Because that growling did not sound like a bird. All the animals are running away. Uh, and she says, what was that? That was huge! Where'd all the binkies go? Were they scared of it too? That can't be good. Why is my backpack vibrating? Oh, the journal is vibrating and there's it's glowing on the front. And she says, whoa, the gem is glowing? I've never seen it do that before. I've got to keep going and figure out what all this means. And uh, we'll move forward towards the back of the temple thing? I don't know where we're supposed to be going here. Oh, there's stairs going up onto the roof. That's where we'll go. down the stairs on the other side of the temple and there's our big deer friend again who disappears into sparkles once again and she says there it is again that deer thing keeps showing up around the island is it following me or am I following it and we're going through a pillar of light into a cave there we go are you ready to adventure onward? You will not be able to return to this area for a while. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Um, yeah, that's that's where we'll uh, leave Beast of Maravilla Island for now. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, the the environments are really pretty. The animals are really pretty. I like all of those aspects about it. It's just you know it, it's a budget title. It, it, it's made by a small indie team. And it has a little bit of rough edges that, that I would typically expect with an indie team. But man, the camera thing, that is just uh, like borderline unacceptable to me. Stop vibrating, controller. Um, that you would have the camera consistently snap to just left of where the player has put the third person camera. Um, if it was random, it would bother me less. The, but the fact that it's consistently snapping to just left, that feels bad. It does like that's. That's not that's not good, um, but other than this, that I kind of like this game. I, I like that there's like uh, a little bit of like puzzle solving in the exploration. I think that the visuals of it are just outstanding, um, and there's there's a, a a sweet story unfolding here as I play it. Um, so yeah, I like I like this game. Um, the frame rate was a little bit of an issue, but it was never really too bad. I not like I said, I know that they're working on updating, up, upping that frame rate. Um, they specifically said we apologize, players who've had issues with the first level. I think is what I saw. So I think maybe that's something that's a problem at the start of the game, and then becomes less of a problem later on. Um, but yeah, the, that camera thing's the, the worst thing for me. But honestly, once I realized what it was doing, that it was always snapping to the left, it became not that hard to deal with. So 
But yeah, that's Beast of Mervy Island. Um, it's out on Switch. I think it's out. I think it's out all over the place. I'm actually not sure about that. Um, but hey, you should look it up. If nothing else, you should look it up to see the visuals because it is just a beautiful game. Um, so yeah, until next time, friends. Tap A and hope for the best. If you enjoyed my show, it would mean a lot if you would rate and review it on iTunes, share it on social media, or check out my Patreon. You can find all of my stuff at troidalpower.carrd.co. This has been a presentation of the We Can Make This Work Probably Network. Follow us on Twitter at ProbablyWork for more of our questionable content. Also, we have a website called ProbablyWork.com.